Welcome everybody. We got a beautiful question given. Let me write the question down. Uh, triangle ABC with AC equal to 20 is inscribed in a circle omega at it's actually a tangent t to omega is drawn through b the distance of t from a is 25 and that of and instead of saying of I will use and that from C is 16. If S denotes the area of the triangle ABC find the largest integer not exceeding s divided by 10. So we are expected to find the area and we have been given this following information. So foremost let me draw the circle and then we will place in the information given to us okay that's fine now we have a triangle inscribed so let me inscribe the triangle inside the circle Okay, that's fine. Now, the most important part in this question is to properly name the triangle. Because there is a tangent at B. And the most comfortable point on the circle to draw the tangent would be over here. So, I'm going to take this as A. And I will take this point as B and I will take this point as C. So there is a tangent. So let me draw the tangent. A tangent is drawn and this is T. Now what is given is the distance of T from A is 25 units. And the most important part here is this is going to be 90 degree because this line is going to be hitting the tangent. Of course, they have not specified it, but that is the inference that we need to apply here. Now, this is given to be as 25 and that from C is 16. So, there is also another distance that is being given. And this is 16 units. So the most important part that we will have to do is to find S, which is the area of the triangle ABC. We need to get that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to apply some concepts from circle theorem. Now, this is a chord. Let me take this as P and Q. And having got that, what I will do is I will drop a perpendicular to the 
base and this is 90 degrees and let me take this distance as h so that's fine now since there is a chord here and a tangent I will apply the alternate segment theorem and that would mean if this point is some theta then the exact opposite would also be theta now if I were to consider say triangle B P and C this is going to be 90 degree because it's a tangent and from C we are constructing the distance so we got this angle theta this is 90 so let me just write that down observing triangle B P C and triangle let me take this as D triangle A D B we see that angle B is equal to angle A angle at P is equal to angle at D and subsequently angle at C this angle is going to be equal to this angle so just for sake of understanding let me draw that angle up so just ignore this stretch so this is going to be theta and this is going to be theta so this is 90 and clearly we can see that angle at C will also be equal to the angle at B hence by angle angle similarity we can conclude that triangle BPC is similar to triangle ADB now we can use this important fact to get the equations that we require now we do not have to specify a a a similarity because it's okay that we can the moment we get two of the angles equal we can instantaneously use a a similarity there isn't much difference between a a and a a a because when two angles are same naturally the third angle for these triangles would also be equal that's the understanding so now what i wish to do is i would like to actually take this distance to be some a and this distance to be some c so from this fact i can now rewrite the following what is that i can rewrite bc divided by ab is equal to pc divided by db now it is given that ac let me show you this is equal to 20 so this entire distance is 20 so if i were to substitute the values bc is a and ab is c pc is 16 and db is h so let me number this as some two now let me go back to the figure now there is a chord and there is a tangent and there is an angle being made here now this angle by the same property we applied here will be the same as this angle so if I were to consider this triangle and this triangle they would be similar so let me write that down considering triangle CBD because this is going to be 90 degrees if 
for the fact that we have constructed a perpendicular to AC. So this is going to be B C D and triangle A B Q by A A similarity clearly we see that this angle and this angle is same we got a 90 degree here and also a 90 degree there triangle BCD is similar to triangle ABQ so this would mean BC over AB is equal to BD over AQ so what does this mean? BC is go to the figure A units and AB is C units is equal to BD BD is H and AQ is 25 so we got A over C is equal to H over 25 and this is 3 comparing 2 and 3 we get what do we get in place of A over C I can substitute H over 25 so this would mean H over 25 is equal to 16 over H so therefore H squared is equal to 16 times 25 16 times 25 is 400 right so if you want I can show that 6 5s are 33, 6 2s are 12, 15 5 ones are 5, 2 ones are 2, 10, 1, 4. So h squared is equal to 400, therefore h is equal to root of 400. We take only positive value, so h is equal to 20. Now we have got the value of h, but that isn't the area. We need h is equal to 20. So we need to get the area. S. S is nothing but area is nothing but half into base into height. So this is nothing but half into base is 20, height is 20, 2 times 2 is 400 divided by 2, that's going to be 200. So S is equal to 200, so we need S divided by 10. You see that? So therefore, S divided by 10 is equal to 200 divided by 10, which is equal to 20. So this is the solution for this question. Of course, the most important uh, part in this question is to know how to draw the figure. And uh, the rest of these things will fall into place. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this question. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day.